Hello everyone, and welcome back to some more Wuthering Waves. Today we're going to continue the main story quest to unlock the events that are currently going on. Over here! Been waiting for ya! I thought Yang Yang said you had a super cool little buddy to show us. Where is it? It's inside of me. Uh, I don't know. What is this thing? Hmm. Did it just pop out of your tacit mark? Hmm. Smells good. So, is this how it first showed up when you guys were in the Norfolk Barrens? It can speak. Yeah, back then we... As I fought off those tacit discords, a burst of energy erupted from that statue. Two forces clashed and collided, and later, one of them emerged victorious. General Jian and Rover later told me it was this little thing coming out of Rover's body. It was blocking or even consuming the overflow of Thrinodian power. It reminded me of how Rover once absorbed frequency energy with his body in a similar fashion. So, apparently, this little one is what we had detected before. It's a speculated space or organism hidden inside your body. Now we finally know. It shares similar frequencies with tacit discord's reverberations. It resembles an echo processed by the date. In other words, it's your own echo, captured or absorbed at some point. Without you, it can't manifest. Interesting. That's why Baiju couldn't confirm just how you absorbed that echo back then. Was it you? Was it the little one? Or maybe... The two of you together. Hmm. And Baija discovered more after analyzing your spectrums. What'd she discover? She found a new power source within you. Similar to the crownless, but even stronger. This power comes from the tacit discord you defeated in Norfolk Baron. So, the excess energy this little thing had consumed somehow ended up in your body. Available at your disposal. What does that mean exactly? In other words, uh, to put it simply, you are connected. While you are, the bond between you and this creature is symbiotic. As it strengthens, so do you. However, That's fortunately, since it can't ever leave your side, it's not an easy target for attackers. And if they do strike, it can seek sh- Okay. I understand. Now that pretty much it. Baija was going to explain it to you. Wait, wait, wait. Oh. Uh, this is too much information for me to process. Let me get this straight. Uh. So, it helped Rover fight off the Thrinodian? And it's a hungry little dude. Seriously? Mm. This teeny tiny thing could do that? <laughs> Seems unlikely. <laughs> oh, I remember what I was gonna do. Hmm. Don't look down on me. You'll regret it when you learn what... That poker-faced researcher was absolutely shocked when she examined me. <laughs> Said I'm not just any echo. I'm that doesn't a sound like bad cool one. Yeah, no way Baija talks like that. She's more of a data dump kind of person. Seems like you're trying to boost your ego. Oh, actually... While those aren't Baijus exact, she mentioned highly intelligent echoes that can act on their own in other countries. Said those echoes are rare, though. Neither I nor Baiju, an eco-acoustics expert, have ever s Yeah, makes eco. sense. Now we just gotta figure out where it came from. Who knows? We may find other cool echoes in that place. Sounds so... Good. Do you know where exactly he absorbed you? Huh? How am I supposed to know? Why don't you just ask him? How am I supposed to know? Because they know I don't remember. Yeah. It happened before he lost all memories, so we have to ask you. But... Even if Echoes can have memories... Aha! Finally! Someone with common sense. That green-haired, serious guy asked me a similar question. 
Sorry to disappoint, but I really don't remember any... Hmm... Maybe... Maybe I was just sleep... Sleeping? Seriously? It's been so long. All those happenings, all that fighting, and you didn't hear anything? Well, wow, that's... Your sleeping quality is really something. I wish I could sleep like that. I have to not stay awake all the time, actually. Uh, so you've got privacy to be respected. <laughs> Don't worry. Your body's sound insulation is amazing. You can dive into it, and everything goes quiet. That's almost unfortunate. The only problem is, I never know when I'll wake up again. And when... <gasps> I know. It's all because I'm not eating enough. That's why you kept disappearing. He went back to sleep from lack of energy. Hmm. I thought you'd be really different from the usual ones we see. So you probably don't know your denomination or a nickname. No wonder everyone's been calling you the little denomination. The universally agreed terms with special echoes like names for humans. They're named based on their characteristics, abilities, my denomination. Please don't make me name it. What? No way. No way. That's not fair. If all this special... I don't want to be called the little one all the time. It doesn't sound cool at all. Don't make me this? name it. You help me come up with a name, and I will let you have some of the food. Oh, too late. there's nothing left. Okay, it's a scatterbrained. Don't make me name it. Uh, next time. Next time, I'll definitely save some for you. A name? Now? Yes, I want it now. Look, your name's Chisha. <laughs> that sounds interesting. Wait, didn't you forget everything? How do you still remember? My new name now. With your old name and memories all gone, it's a good idea to. Yeah! Exactly like she said. Every. I just want a name that sounds a little cool, a little special, and epic, and super smoking. Yeah, let's give it a name. Makes That's... it easier on it. Let's see. You want a cool one? Nah. Nah. -uh. Absolutely. Hey, it makes every difference in the world. I am Echo. Or, uh, or maybe, since you can fly, and you've got those long... No. Ab, why? I love it when people call me the Jinjo Speedster. Doesn't that sound awesome? <laughs> I accidentally was holding button there, so I skipped it. What do you want? What do you want for a name if you won't accept what we're giving you? Let's call yourself Abby. Rover would come up with a good. Wait, why does it sound so random? You didn't just pick two random syllables, did you? Well, it's what you bring to us. Sure, let's lie to the thing. So, is it because I've been. Uh... Hmm. That was a better one. Uh, I, I meant to tease it as a joke, but I can tell it's upset now. Uh, What's wrong? Abraxas? What are you muttering about? Abrap? Uh, I don't know, but I just have this feeling that Abby. I like the sound of that. <laughs> That's my name. It's time to think of another one. Of course I like it. You came up with it for me. <laughs> my name is Abby. Sure, we won't. Got it. Well, that didn't work out. I was hoping we could get some answers from the little... I mean, from Abby. I really thought we could figure out where Abby came from. It might not lead us to other special echoes. Maybe we can start with Abby's special abilities instead. Each special echo has a unique ability. We can compare what Abby does with our records of other echoes to see where they came from. Besides, it was Abby's power that helped Rover defeat the Threnodian, I suppose. Yeah, what did it do exactly to help us? Why do you sound so unsure? Didn't you see it all with your own eyes? Didn't get a clear mm. look. Abby, can you show it? Well, since you asked, I'll show you how it's done. <laughs> but this place is... 
Okay, I was gonna say, do I have to walk myself, or is it gonna do it? All right, him. All eyes on me. Okay. That's it. Well, what's going on? I'll try again. Just you see. Doesn't have enough power. Its oh. eyes have tacit marks in it, I just noticed. Even its forehead has a tacit mark on it. Uh, what? Uh, just, just a little slip, that's all. I, back then, I just stood in front of him, and that big bad Thranodian monster thing just... So... you didn't really do anything, huh? No, I... I definitely did something. Scared it off. So it doesn't like it. Like I said, I was asleep. And then all of a sudden, I smelled something really yummy. I didn't have time to think. I just had to show up and reach out for it. Was the Thranodians scared of it because it, they wanted to eat it? So maybe Abby's power activates on... Yeah, it looks that way. You can't even hold your shape for very long yet. Hey, hey, hey! Stop looking down on me, like I said. But I think about it. I just stood there and did nothing and ended up beating a Thranodian. Imagine what I could do if I actually tried. Hey, Rover, get behind me next time. You're so real for that, Abby. Okay, then. <laughs> you bet. I said I'm... That's very reassuring to hear, but... It seems we're stuck again. I can't think of anything else to check out. You still need to figure out my past, I guess. Where did you absorb Abby? What are Abby's powers? And what exactly happened between you two? There are so many questions we... Our Sentinel Joy can look into the future. Nothing ever deviates from its predictions. It has... Now that the Thranodian crisis is over, perhaps you can consult our magistrate and our sentinel again. I'll pay her a visit when she returns. Relax, relax. You have me now, remember? Meeting up with that Jinshi person, getting your memories back. I've got you. Should I trust this Speaking flying Speaking of thing? that, so this sentinel can predict the future? That's, what does it look like? Where is it? Since we're paying it a visit, this sentinel should... Our sentinel protects every one of us. Of course it's cool. But why are you talking about food again? Didn't you just stuff your face? Or what? Is your stomach a black hole? We, it is havoc, so it might actually be a black hole. I can't help it. I'm always starving. Find ways of waiting for replies, trying for more clues about your past. Several days later... Rover, did you hear that? My stomach is growling. Uh, I'm so hungry. <laughs> what I was going to do, I'm just going to do this real quick. It's because I have Jinsi for Spectro damage, I was going to swap him out to Havoc. Oh, that's actually not a good sign. I just... Crit damage, crit rate. Do I have one for Havoc damage? You have Havoc damage. No, I don't want to auto-select that. No matter what game, it's always HP that's the substat you get.
Okay, that I can switch out. Oh yeah, that should be good. I don't have enough stuff to actually upgrade them any further. Enter the Dark Surge. Oh, what is this trying to get me to do again? The problem I'm noticing is I think my mouse here might be dying, actually. Which would be very bad. Especially for a game like this. Mmm, yummy yummy. <laughs> Just stuff uh, your face. Hello? Are you with me? You seem a bit distracted. With so much delicious food right in front of you, aren't you gonna try any? Well, if you're not interested, I'll gobble it all up. Mm. It looks so delicious, actually. <gasps> You've been absent-minded the whole day. Still bothered by that dream from last night? What dream? Wait, so you had a dream about the Sentinel? Like the one from your flashback when we saw the sentinel statue after you lost your memory? Is that a corpse? This time I saw more. <laughs> Hang on, so let me get this straight. The sentinel swooshed and then there were all these bad things going on with lots and lots of tacit... How exactly did it protect everyone again? Oh, in your dream it... Yeah. The time in the mountains seemed to have slowed down from the outside, away from the tacit discords. I love the look of these glowing lines over creatures. The Sentinel must have created a barrier by manipulating the flow of time, keeping those monsters out. It was a safe haven from all the disturbances caused by the tacit discords. Also, in my dream, I wasn't affected by the slow time. It's no shock that you have awesome powers, being friends with me. I think it's the other way around. Uh, what was that place you dreamed about called? I'm not entirely sure I heard it correctly. But in my dream, the Sentinel mentioned a place called Mount Firmament. Mount Firmament? Never heard of it. You've never heard of Mount Firmament? And I'm sure you're not from around here. Huh? Hold on! Did you just say Mount Firmament? Oh my! Did that Echo just talk? It's a good friend of mine. Relax, it won't hurt Come you. Come on, man, relax. You don't hear an Echo talking every day, but it's not that uncommon either. I heard there's a country called Re... Uh, Rhinus. What? Anyway, the Echoes there are next level. What's up with this Mount Permanent? Oh, you're not from around here? <laughs> well, that explains why you don't know about Mount Firmament. Legends say Mount Firmament is... I've never actually heard of anyone going to that place. They say those who try either get lost in the sea mist or never come back. If you're curious, just head southeast. Mount Firm The South East. What's your take? Any idea? The past few days, especially this morning, I caught this unique smell from the Southeast. From that mountain they just mentioned. How good is your nose? How far is it away and you can still smell it? It's like a strong energy pulsing through the air, but I can't quite put my finger on it. Could it have anything to do with what you said? A place where... Hmm... Do you want to go check it out? Yes. I had a flashback about seeing their sentinel. I can feel an unknown force guiding me, urging me to go there and find something. Jinchi said she'll go search for the sentinel and update me on its whereabouts. But so far, I've not heard anything from the city hall yet. Then shall we go check it out together? It feels really suspicious. Let's go ask Jinchi about it. And that was just to unlock the quest. The good old 20 minutes quest unlock that this game is known for. Abby, are you getting sleepy again? Let me uh, take a quick nap, all right? I've got keen ears. If anything goes down, just give me a holler and a... 
I'll be... I'll be up in a jiffy. I swear. Shadow follows. Nowhere to hide. No hesitation. Yeah, I kind of really like how the havoc works. Just the darkness. And I know I'm edgy. And I do not care about that. I hate how touchy this is sometimes. Oh, it doesn't let you attack while you're in here. Got it. <sighs> Into the building we go. Yeah, that's my mouse dying, by the way, whenever you see me just running and then suddenly I just dash backwards for some reason. That's my mouse acting up. Into the meeting room. Is there only Sanwa here? Greetings, Rover. What can I help you with today? Hey, for Genzi, I have questions about the Sanwa. I Sanwell. regret to inform you that Madam Magistrate is not in the city hall. In fact, we have not heard back from her for days. So you don't know what she's up to. Unfortunately, no. Please keep this confidential. The situation in Jinjo is still unstable. After when we on? captured Scar, he claimed that the Fraxidus had imprisoned our Sentinel. It was around the same time that Madam Magistrate lost track of Sentinel Jue. If our Sentinel is truly in danger, or if someone with malicious intent obtains this information in order to investigate the Sentinel's whereabouts, Madam Magistrate has left for Mount Firmament, its last recorded location. Can you get in touch with them? Madam Magistrate traveled to Mount Firmament alone. The looming threat of the Thronodian discouraged any additional diversion of human resources. Furthermore, when it comes to the Sentinel, force is not a viable solution. I need to go to Mount Firmament. I want to help. Madam Magistrate trusts you. It is beyond my authorization to meddle. However, the landscape around Mount Firmament is complex. One must be accompanied by a special wayfinder to navigate safe. Currently, she's likely at the ferry terminal in Whining Ix's mire. I'll reach out to her. To learn more about Mount Firmament, you can meet her at the ferry. I lack the same level of understanding of the situation there as she does. All right, I'll head out. I trust Madam Magistrate's decisions. I will do my utmost to handle the public. I just... This worry about her safety won't leave me. In her last video message... I could tell she seemed weaker than usual, despite her efforts to maintain composure. Madam That's Magistrate's situation might not be optimistic. Rover, Mount Firmament is a dangerous place. Please take care. I have sent the coordinates to your terminal. Thank you for your kind help. I pray you will both return safely. I pray that too. Be right there. I'm listening. Hey. Did you notice how the mountain has a strangely pleasant smell? Hmm. It doesn't look edible, though. Russ, I can handle it. Of course you can! When I'm already so cool, you must... And don't worry! If there's any danger coming your way, I'll wake up like clockwork. Just... Well, unless there's nothing that can even remotely challenge you. Um, In that case, I probably... There's a sentinel there. I have a feeling we're going to fight the Let's sentinel. Let's head to the ferry. Hmm. Mount Firmament. Our wayfinder should have plenty information to share. Wait, I can build up that bar. <sighs> that when I do actually get into combat, I can just use it automatically. Interesting thought. Hey, 
And now we teleport to wherever we need to go. Uh... Oh, it just hadn't triggered yet. Got it. I was wondering why it wasn't showing up. But it's because it hadn't triggered the next part yet. I always seem to try to do things too quickly and end up screwing something up. seems to be doing pretty good today. I'm getting yellow connection occasionally. Which isn't a good sign, but isn't the worst one either. Now, who's my guide? Oh, now it's raining. What the hell is this? Oh, it's that person. Are you trapped here by the rain? No, I'm waiting for someone. I happen to be waiting for someone, too. Are you the Wayfinder? I am Chun Li, your Wayfinder. Don't worry, the rain won't last much longer. Our destination lies just beyond it. Rover, what do you know about Mount Firmament? Not much, honestly. There is a certain folk tale. Have you heard of it? While hiking in the mountains, a woodcutter came upon two people playing Weichi and became enthralled with their game. I don't know what that game is. Upon his return home, he found a world transformed. Everything. That mountain was a secret realm where time worked differently. The woodcutter only spent half a day inside, but outside, a century had passed. Mount Firmament is such a place. But unlike this folktale, there is a price to pay for entering and exiting its grounds. If I spend a full day in the mountains, ten days will be taken off my lifespan upon my leaving. Not to mention, the situation on Mount Firmament right now is probably even more complex than before. What happened? But also the fact that you lose life upon leaving. The strange time patterns of Mount Firmament are tied to the Sentinel's temporal mandate. Time ebbs and flows at its will. If the Fraxidus really has imprisoned our Sentinel, causing it to lose control of its powers, that could explain the temporal disruptions. You're heading straight into that dead end? Lifespan is not the top of my concerns. If you've decided to venture there, I'll join you as your wayfinder. Jin Shi has stayed on Mount Firmament for too long. She said she might be in danger. She doesn't miss a thing, does she? Before Jinshi left for Mount Firmament, scales began appearing on her body, and her resonance ability was weakening. What was happening to her? Was she turning into a dragon or something? Those signs pointed to a dire situation for the Sentinel as well. Are they symbiotic between each other? Like, me and that thing? Me and Abby? That's why I must lead you there. You might have the key to solving our dilemma. What do you mean? You're here because I invited you. 
Sanhua was instructed to disclose my whereabouts if you ever went to City Hall and asked about Jin Shi. How did I go to City Hall? Oh, she's one of those intelligent characters. Like, hyper intelligent. It's no surprise that you went to City Hall for answers. Considering I need to tell you the truth. Because you've been the top priority. No, the sole concern of our enemy. The Fraxidus. Why? That overseer tried everything to sway you and make you join their side before our battle with the reviving Thranodian. It's a clear sign that your involvement could disrupt their plans. Especially at Mount Firmament. Seems everyone's interested in me. Records at the Grand Library Tell a tale of someone who dared to enter Mount Firmament after they were also said to have stood alongside the Sentinel. It's us, our dream. And here before me stands someone who bears an uncanny resemblance to that very individual. I think that person is me. Is it you? If not you, who else could it be? It took me some effort to finally reach this conclusion. Is her eyes changing colors? That's just me. Rover, the journey ahead is filled with danger at every turn. Once we venture into the mountains, it can't hurt me. As your wayfinder, I'll lead you to your destination. What you do after that is entirely up to you. I'm debating whether I should do some pulls on her banner. The rain is subsiding, and the sky will soon clear. It's time for us to head out. You know what, I think I'm gonna use some of my pulls on her banner. Not today though. Yeah, this game really fits my taste in characters. And aesthetics. going on right now? Oh, something's coming at the bottom of the boat? Or is it just a view from the bottom? something to happen suddenly. We're at the base of Mount Firmament, but we won't enter the temporal barrier until we cross the luminous shore. Wait, did that actually give me something? Not yet. Actually, let me test out this character really quickly. Storage jumps are as a target with basic attack, one true sight, cast enhanced heavy attack. Freaking umbrella. My 
be reduced to cinders. Is she a phoenix or something? I know she's a phoenix aesthetic. Oh, I was grappled or something. Yeah, she has the aesthetic of uh, either a phoenix or a firebird. Which has quite a few mythological firebirds. You know what, I'll do 30 pulls right now. Because why not? Wait, is that a heavy sword? No. Oh, did I get her? Eons of time on this Oh, I got her. Land, all encapsulated in a humble game. That only took 30 pulls. Fortunate to have you as my opponent. Okay then. I wasn't actually expecting that. I have to admit. My luck today is pretty good. 30 pulls to get a 5 star. Now the question is, is... Okay. Is she better than Echo for my team? Or, uh, not Echo, Encore. Oh. This feeling of power coursing through my veins. It feels different than before please do spar with me for another round uh final amount of permanent her skills are fusion damage after releasing enter true side lasting for 12 seconds so i'm trying to lose ground basic attacks she releases true side conquest Uh, she consumes all stacks to a cast flame sacrifice, considers resonance, skill damage for every basic attack on hit, charge on hit, resonance liberation gives her an entering fiery feather can cast in midair, heavy attack. Within 10 seconds, her attack is increased by 25%. For each stack of whose damage bonus is increased. Okay, so she's just fusion damage. Got it. So I might switch Encore out for her. Not right now, obviously, though. She's not strong enough right now. Actually, I immediately found a chest. <sighs> All I can say is the world wanted me to get them. red thing up there. It's probably about to explain it, isn't it? The bridge has broken. We have gliders and we can climb the side of freaking mounds. That's a puzzle. What's this puzzle? 
Judging by its design and intricate details, Corte Cervante. This is what they call a Chronos order. Chronos time, so it, it we run the Sentinel's temporal mandate, able to reverse small it. scale events. My master once told me about the Court of Savante and their fearless quest to their dedication bore fruit in the fo but it doesn't add up. What's wrong? Why hasn't this brilliant invention spread beyond Mount Firmament? Well, because it relies on the temporal mandate in the area to work. This Chronos Order was built beyond the temporal barrier. But even if they died, there are countless other Sia or do these Chronos Orders stop functioning once they are removed from Mount Firmament? That was that, that's what I was thinking. This Chronos Order weathered the Let's give it a try. Okay, my game went black there for so long and I was about to get concerned. Uh, where's the exit button? Okay, there. Oh, it was in the right corner. I didn't see it there. Hey, look, I have a teleport waypoint. Weren't they concerned about losing lifespan? For those fanatics, nothing mattered more than the truth. To live every moment with overwhelming passion. How many can claim such a tenacious drive? and unshakable determination. True. I'm looking for those plump things I need to upgrade her. Because <sighs> I'd very much prefer to get them before I have to go back. Oh, this one's locked. I guess the whole thing of if I switch Encore for her is personal preference, I guess. Even though Encore I have at, I think, 2nd Ascension? Or what's it called in this game? Oh. R1, I have her at by 3%. Limited characters are usually stronger than the other ones, though. Oh, I'm actually lagging very badly. Fraxidus. It's them again. They've set traps all around the luminous shore. They must have anticipated your arrival. Yeah, the fact I'm the fact I'm lagging again isn't a good sign for me. The entrance is sealed. It's the photon barrier. Specific steps must be followed to undo the barrier. Okay, so she's gonna guide me through this. Uh, can deactivate, disabling a set will deactivate the barrier. Use long range weapons on the photon vaults to cut off its energy. I guess without Encore, I have no ranged Me? attack. Me? Once we've reached the cave's end, we'll enter the domain of Mount Firmament. Proceed with caution. 
Some more Prilla. Kill the rabbit, just... Okay, killing the rabbit lagged my game for some reason. Okay, I might actually have to pause my game in a bit. I apologize if you can hear a dog outside my window. This is a different time zone. So it can't hurt me. What about her? <gasps> the animals are frozen in place. Affected the strange time pattern. Time on Mount Firmament used to simply flow slower than in the... But what we're seeing now is different. What was once slow and steady has become chaotic. No one knows how much they'll age after leaving Mount Firmament. But aging from youth to old age, maybe leaving Mount Firmament could turn any mortal to dust in just a moment. These poor creatures... Trapped in the temporal disruption. Should we put them out of our misery? It looks like the Fraxidus did manage to capture our sentinel. I had wished that my theories would turn out wrong. As expected, my terminal isn't working. We can't reach Jinshi. The temporal disruption is preventing it from functioning. Jinshi. We can't waste a moment. Jinshi's fate isn't the only one at stake. We need to hurry to Hongjen, a town nestled at the heart of Mount Firmament. Jinshi would like so to pass through there. Basically, people can't leave if they want to live. Is this a hot? Or like a hot spring. It is. How did I know? Also, I'm taking every fiber of my being not to just run around and look at stuff. The temporal disruptions have spared nothing on our way here. Chung Li. Does that mean you're in danger too? So far, nothing feels out of the ordinary. It seems the Sentinel contained the situation before being fully trapped. But I don't know how long this stability will hold. If I go down, please don't worry about me. You need only focus on what you have to do. That's a flag if I've ever heard one. You know what, I'll watch the cutscene again. I haven't seen it in a while. Okay, now I see... There's a lot of things on... This Mount Farman place. Town is probably frozen too. What's the matter? I dreamed of this place. You dreamed of Hongjin? Describe your dream. Yes, give the details to the smart people so they can think for us. It sounds like you did dream of this place. Being attacked by TDs. And the send of techie people. What you just described closely aligns with the accounts documented in our Grand Library. Over a century ago, 
A vast horde of tacit discords invaded Huang. Thankfully, the Sentinel descended, manipulating time to erect a protect... Rover, perhaps that dream is more than just a dream. Pretty sure it is. It could be a glimpse into your own past, and a guiding light for the future. Onwards we go. She noticed something. Praxidus. That's a big boy. Praxidus. Hongjin is a pivotal location, linking various parts of Mount Firmament. With Laid a trap. But every trap has its weak points. What's this? Someone has used their resonance ability here, but it feels different from... And it seems like she used it in a dire situation. The traces lead deeper into the heart of Hong Zhen. Let's fight off the frogs. Let's keep moving. Don't let your guard down. As long as it's not stealth. Rev frozen the instant before the disaster struck. The Fraxis are also frozen. They were attacking the civilians. I didn't realize the water was that deep. Someone fought here against those Fraxidus. Must be Jinshi. Her trails led to this location. Using her resonance ability too much would only... But she must have had a reason. Now we look around. There are traces here. They're pointing north. Let's proceed in that direction. It just got much darker. Also, my game's gonna start lagging out here. I called it. Strength. I hope this is just one of those, like, few seconds it's doing it. But I'm not hopeful. This is so much fun. Shadow descends. with the sounds. Onwards. Mask of distortion. Oh, that's a material. Embrace Lenheers. The traces disappear by the pond. Rover. We need to keep an eye out for anything unusual. Me? Me? Oh, that's one of those times I can actually switch out characters while she does that. on the stone table seems rather peculiar. Wait, there's somebody standing on it. There's something behind the waterfall. Why is it always behind the That's waterfall? Another photon barrier. New photon vaults to break. Rover, use ranged attacks. And what if I don't want to use ranged attacks, huh? What if I want to stab it? You two, halt! Hold on. Lady Xing Yi. Relax, there are honored guests. No need to be tense. 
In a single day, we've greeted both the magistrate of Jinzhou and her trusted counselor in Hongzhen. I can only assume something significant happened. It's been a while, Chang Li. I heard you step down from your position and move to the countryside. And now here we are, meeting again after all this time, in such unfortunate circumstances. For years I live secluded, no longer concerning myself with the matters beyond Hongzhen. But then stuff came to Hongzhen. But the current situation in Jinzhou is volatile. It has reunited us in an unpredictable moment. And you, young sir? What shall I call you? Just call me Rover. My name is Xin Yi. Pleased to make your acquaintance. Please follow me this way. It's not safe to talk here. Optional talk to the residents. I'm just gonna follow her. Oh, that actually burns it. Endure and defy. She moves very slowly. Nowhere to hide. I guess I could also get rid of Rover in the team, but I just don't want to have two fusion characters. That's why I switched him to Havoc. I believe you are here for Magistrate Jin Shi. The Magistrate left Hong Zhen about 15 minutes ago. She should be at the Truth Seekers Pass now. What's that place? That's what they call it in Hong Zhen. You might know it better as the ruins of a Court of Savante facility. What's she doing there? Lady Shen Yi, please elaborate. Oh, she's keeping up being stuck in time. Madam Magistrate, are you? I'm fine. How's the situation? Have we evacuated all the civilians? Yes. Remaining civilians have been counted and escorted to safety. Good. These hidden chambers should provide some much needed shelter for them to rest a little. Despite being the Sentinel's appointed resonator, I haven't been able to sense its presence for some time now. I can feel my resonance ability waning, and I get my power from the Sentinel. Lady Xing Yi, I need to know where the Sentinel was last seen. I can only fix the temporal disruption within a confined radius. It's already pushing my limits to keep this small pocket of space secure. Mount Firmament is in serious trouble. And we can't waste any more time. Yeah, you need the sentinel. The sentinel so. was last seen flying towards Mianlun Chamber, where it would normally rest. The Fraxidus likely swarmed it soon after, but little did they know, we had a defense system in place. This mechanism has allowed us to locate their troops. To get inside Mianlun Chamber, we have to find the cipher key in Truth Seek. Understood. I will go bring back the cipher key. You are injured. Please, rest and leave it to me. She's not going to accept that. The Fraxidus will most likely attack this place once I leave. You must stay here and guard it. I implore you, Xing Yi. Help me keep our people safe. Yes, I will, Madam Magistrate. Before I headed to Mount Firmament, the Fraxidus revealed a prophecy from her. I never intended to believe their baseless claims, but I was not surprised to hear it. The Sentinel had told me long ago that there would come a day when I surpass it in power. Once we save the Sentinel from danger, I intend to have a serious conversation with it about this prophecy. And then she left. 
Okay then. There's still one thing that doesn't add up. How did the Fraxidus kidnap our Sentinel? The Mianlong Chamber was once renovated by the court of Savante. I'll look into what you said. But once we have the cipher key, the Mianlong Chamber will be left vulnerable to the Fraxidus' potential retaliation. We must keep them at bay. Rover and I are headed to the Truth Seekers Pass to meet up with Jing Shi. We'll and the locals will handle the rest. Okay. I will send some men to open up the side exit for you. Head south and keep walking a couple of minutes, and you will see the Truth Seekers pass downstream. Thank you, Lady Xingyi. Please, leave it to us. In this place she was born, and in this place she returns. Our Magistrate's fate is bound to Mount Firmament. Why are they always saying this ominous stuff? Oh uh, yeah, I'm gonna temporarily pause this stream here, and I will be back in a few minutes. Anyways, thanks for coming, I hope you enjoy, and hope to see you in part two of this. Goodbye.